Hi, I'm Wilbur Knowles. I'm the author of uh, In Whose Hands. And I'm going crazy because this is like our fourth take on this and I just can't get it right. I was almost done last time. Okay, well I wrote this novel and I want to tell you a few things about it. The first thing is that it's the first in a series of three. Uh, there's actually going to be 11 or 12 in the end, but right now we're starting with three. The second thing I want to tell you is how wild and crazy this story is. And the third thing is the cliffhanger ending. I want you guys all to come on the social media into Inu's hands on Twitter and wherever else. And I want you to tell me what you think happened at the end of the novel. I really leave it on a cliffhanger and the second novel answers the first novel. And then the third novel answers everything. Anyways, maybe not. So it begins with these scientists called the smart ones. They're living in a barbaric world and that's why they're called smart ones because these barbarians don't have the word scientist to call them in their vocabulary. So anyways, these barbarians have these scientists under their thumb and they're, you know, they're oppressing their ability to even evolve. Plus they've got slavery. So these scientists get sick of it and they decide they're going to devise this two part plan. And the first part of the plan is to write this incredible story. And the second part of the plan is time travel. Well, they know they're barbarians, but they're not stupid. They're thousands and thousands of years away from time travel. But anyways, they write this story. And when they develop time travel, all those thousands of years later, they're going to go back in time and they're going to make the events from this story that they wrote. They're going to make those events happen. So the main character in the novel, Ephraim, he's the one doing the time jumps and he does six time jumps. On the sixth jump, he goes back to Nazareth and he finds a virgin girl named Mary. And he teleports a genetically enhanced embryo into her womb. The next day he confronts her and says he is this angel Gabriel and says, don't worry, God has made you with child. But in all honesty, it was Ephraim. He was a scientist. So anyways, like I said, there's a cliffhanger ending and it's going to be really good. Like you'll really enjoy the read. I'm pretty sure we're, you know, on the right track with this story. That's for sure. And, and you guys are going to want to see the rest of them. Oh, I wrote it like a movie. So that's why I said, see, cause I want to see it as a movie. Okay. I guess that's it. Thank you.